What's going on guys? It is Friday, February 21st. I'm actually done with my day now, but I'm filming an intro for this video because I didn't film one earlier. But uh, the first one up here is a breaker that keeps tripping for a Bryant Evolution system. And um, what I find is, is pretty weird. And um, I think it's probably negligence on the installing electrician. So take a look. On a unit here that keeps tripping the breaker. We went over everything on it, the breaker, disconnect, electric heat back, everything seems in line. But when I got looking at my line wire here, right here, I noticed it's a different wire than what's at the breaker panel. This is all copper wire. There was aluminum wire coming up. Check this out. There is a Junction box in here. And she is burnt out. Look at that. You can tell it's been arcing on the top of the box, too. But look where it's at. off of there I just pulled this bug out so I guess that's our suspect there the only problem is I can't get in there and I have a feeling they did this after the after the air handler was installed because you can see somebody has cut a little panel here and then screwed and taped it back so this was certainly an afterthought I have maybe two inches here, three inches. You know, they used, they used splicing tape too. I got all the electrical tape off, but they used splicing tape too. So I'm gonna have to cut that off. I don't know if this connection is actually burnt up or not. I think it was just, it was just rubbing and arcing out up here, up there on that. I'm going to probably just tape this back up and then tell them they need an electrician, although we'll probably have to be involved anyway to, um, to make some space for this, for them to work, because I can only get one arm in there. <clears throat> and while I was messing with it, the box pulled off the wall. All right, so the wires are not loose in there. I was able to cut enough splicing tape off to to mess with it, and the wires are not loose. It's just the where they stick out here just rubbed against the metal there, so they need to be better insulated for starters. Um, so I'm gonna try to get the rest of this tape off here just to double check everything. The other connection looked fine. But yeah, these are splicing bugs. When you got two big, big wires, you put them both in here and then tighten these down with a wrench. Yeah, you can see here on the bug where it was arcing out. Arcing out right there. I think it was arcing here too. Arcing in a couple different spots. Huh. All right. So I got it all taped up. The other one did not look bad. So I think I'm going to leave that one alone. Plus, it's going to be even harder to get to that one. But we got it re -spliced. We got it re-taped. So it's important to know when you do a splice like this, never just use regular electrical tape. You must use splicing tape. It's thicker, it's more rubberized, um, and it insulates it better. Yeah, guys, pretty crazy about that wire. I don't know what happened there. Probably the electrician uh, didn't pull a long enough wire to get to the air handler, 
but uh, either way a crappy situation so they're probably going to end up having to replace that box with with one with a bigger one uh, maybe a six by six eight by eight but uh, I did not ram those wires back in there um, so they're hanging out right now you, you can't even see them really but we're going like, to tell them they need an electrician to go back there and and replace that box and then we're probably going to have to take that plenum off to get to it but we'll deal with that at a later date it's safe now and it's not dripping the breaker anymore and it's working so all right guys we got another call we're going to right now where uh, they're saying it's a commercial property they're saying their rooftop unit number seven is not working let's go take a look all right so we have a trip breaker here man those are hard so i'm going to turn that off and then we're going to come over here it's apparently for rtu number seven um oh, it's saying no power we have a sea of thermostats here so we're gonna actually take and turn this off because apparently they were in this room and then they went uh it was warm up there so they went to turn the ac on and it when as soon as they did that they heard a bunch of racket and it tripped the breaker so let's go ahead and turn it back on so it seems like they probably have a dead short to ground on a motor or a compressor or something like that. All right, I'm pretty sure it's this unit here, unit number seven. So we're gonna look into it. We're gonna check the compressors. What happens on these, doesn't matter what vintage it is. If it's a York Predator unit, then this um, happens all the time. Let's take a look. Yep, look, the condenser wires came loose and the blade chopped them right in half. Happens all the time. Look, it's chopped there too. Let's get these opened up. I can show you guys a little right, better. so this fan blade actually bent. It probably got caught on that wire there and it bent itself. Bend this back or not. Certainly gonna, probably gonna have to change the, change this blade. Yeah, I'm just making it worse cut into that also this blade will certainly need to be changed even if that does run it's gonna wobble its ass off all right and then we have you can see it arced here I have the power off at the disconnect by the way they chopped the wire here it chopped this wire. That one's got damage. It really chopped it up good here. These wires for this motor made it out unscathed, it looks like. We will have to redo the, the zip ties for it though. <clears throat> yeah, here's the here's the ends of them here. Look at all that. She certainly did a number. If I have enough wire there to pull enough out or not. Let's see if we do. But we're basically replacing the wires from here all the way over to here where they where they're still good. If for some reason you had a burnt up plug or this plug was messed up, they're, they're just spade connectors in there. So if you had to replace a plug, you could cut that plug off and just use three spade connectors. This blade has got some damage too. It keeps hitting. Probably gonna be doing two blades here also, plus the wiring repair. Look, all these. All these took some damage, every one of them. <laughs> yeah, so we'll get the wiring fixed and we'll have to order new blades and come back. Um, they're not gonna use air conditioning all the time right now. I mean, it's uh, you know 30 degrees out right now, but they will need it soon. Yeah, you see, this is where the wires come through at right here. So what I actually might do is just pull the wires the rest of the way through the, the broken ones. 
I splice them in here and then send them. All right, I gotta run and get these blades, but what I'm gonna do while I'm gone is I'm gonna take some croil and, uh, and set it on there, spray it on there, let it sit while I'm gone so I can start working. Oh, and there goes my cat. I might have to sand them down too, but at least this will work while I'm gone. And we'll see if we can just pull them right off. Damn it, my cap fell down there, right in there. Wind blew it right over there. Right, so when we splice these wires together, the thing is, I really only need ones like this for 12 gauge wire, but the existing fan wire has a really thick coating on it a really thick uh, sheathing so i might have to use these to get that sheathing in there so i'm going to bring both up just in case and we'll see if i can get that um the wire insulation the sheathing in one of these i don't think i can though so we're gonna probably end up having to use these. the first thing i did was i got the old blades off put them right there they did come off pretty easily where i i croiled them up first now, I only have these two kind of wires. Well, these two color, I did have a green, but I don't like using green unless it's specifically for ground. So uh, I'm gonna shoot two through at first, and then I'll shoot another one through. Let's see if these connectors will work. work. They go in there pretty good. All right, I got my first two ran red and blue and I'm gonna run another blue one for my my brown capacitor wire um, I ran these two first so I didn't get the two blues confused so now I'm about to run my other one through and I'm gonna take and make sure I zip tie all these out of the way so this doesn't happen again right, let me show you guys what I did here while the wind has died down some so I ran everywhere where I put a zip tie at I put tape so it wouldn't cut in I'm gonna take you guys underneath here and I got it as tight as I could everywhere. And I put some tape there just in case anything might rub on that metal. I ran it tight against that fan shroud and I did not zip tie it over there because we turn inside the unit back in further. So I ran it tight and I'm gonna hold it taut inside the panel in here. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Right now, while I'm still up here, I'm going to put these new blades on. Alright, new blades in. Not hitting anything. Not hitting anything. Put the guards back on and we should be done up here. Alright, so over here, on the other side, I have this zip tie there. And that's holding those wires taut there so they won't pull back through. And I have some, I put some extra wire here and coiled it up just in case I don't think it'll happen again, but you know, zip ties fail. So if it ever does happen again, we can just pull some extra wire from there and um, re-splice the connections. All right, over here now, I'm not gonna jump out the air conditioning. Like I said, it's 30 degrees out here. So what I am gonna do though, is we're gonna come up here and we're gonna push in the contactor for the fans. Those are the parameters they had set up, so that's where we're going to hold. Well, I guess it'll bring the heat on. There we go. Yeah, you guys, I don't know why York can't figure that out, but their units have been doing that for 20 years now. The units in 2025 do it, and the units in 2005 did it. They just, uh, the zip ties fail and break, and then they fall down and then the condenser fan blades chop them in half and trip the breaker. That was an extreme case there. Um, that shorted out for a while. <laughs> so that breaker did not want to trip at first. But um, but yeah, they, they, they always do that. Any, any your Predator unit, if it has those double fan blades there, they always do it. But either way, we got them fixed up now. So 
Um, yeah, two calls today with the breakers tripping. I did a couple more calls today. Those are the only two I filmed though. Um, yeah, two customers back up and running. First one, probably get an electrician back there to replace that junction box. Don't know how the hell he's going to get in there unless we take that plenum off. <laughs> but um, that it's something else going to have to be done there. And that second one I did, they're all done. They're good to go. They're ready to rock. So, all right, guys, that's it for this one. Hope everybody has a good weekend. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one.